how to teach kids to independently learn. My name is Michael Mobis, and I partner with Dove Men Plus Care for the Dad's Care Initiative. And we're going to talk about how to encourage your kids to learn on their own. How did we encourage you to learn on your own this summer, Oliver? Um, so our parents proposed the idea of us doing a summer learning where we chose an idea of a topic we were interested in. Mine was aviation in World War II. We um, found all the components and their prices and presented to our parents the total price with the components. Then, so step one, we asked y'all to find a topic you're interested in and a project that mm -hmm. is sort of age and experience appropriate. Mm -hmm. And then we had you research cost and pitch a budget, is that right? Yep, so for mine, I decided to do a remote controlled F4U Corsair, which I made out of a kit and then painted. Um, and what is this material? Uh, it's foam board, like dollar things that you would buy at the Dollar Tree. So what were some things you learned? Um, well, I learned a lot about the um, battles in which the Corsairs were used. And what were you interested in? I was interested in the United States, so I got oven baked clay and molded, cr cut each individual state. Okay. And then are these some of those states? Yeah. We're gonna bake them all in the oven and then put them up like a puzzle, which is why they're all separate. Okay, and um, what did you learn from this exercise? Uh, I definitely learned the shapes of the states. I learned that they should have just done each state a square. It would have been a lot easier. Um, I learned about the way that <laughs> our, our family, where we've visited and where um, my parents have lived because I've only ever lived here in Georgia. So that's cool. <laughs> did it help you with geography and knowing like you know, where the four corners are and yeah. which is West Arizona or New Mexico. Good. What did you do for your summer project? I created this diorama of the earth. So it's um, focusing on the continents of the earth and specifically on the tectonic plates around them and how they cause earthquakes. And so this is the result of your labors? Yes. So it looks great. I had nice. lots of fun um, putting in lots of details, like getting all the little islands. Um, and I looked at the exact spot of the Earth and which constellations would be around the um, or spot of the sun in relation to Earth, my bad, <laughs> and the stars around the Earth. Now, of all the planets you've been to, why did you pick Earth? <laughs> because it's where I live. Oh, okay. So for you folks at home, let your children pick a topic they're interested in that's academic and hopefully intellectually challenging. Let them come up with a budget to pitch that's appropriate for their project. Um, give them a time frame. We gave y'all, what, two and a half months? I think we started yeah. maybe Merle Day to mid-August in essence. And then they got to make a presentation on what they've done. And was it fun? Yes, it was fun, but also challenging because I messed a few things up, but that's learning for you. Great. <laughs> if you have other suggestions on how to encourage your kids to want to learn on their own, leave a comment below and tell us about your ideas. Thanks for your time.